It's Alien Sunday, and what do we got on Alien Sunday? But alien stuff, of course. And today we have, dun, 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 bam! This is the Eagle Moss Aliens USS Sulaco. Yeah, so basically, Eagle Moss were a UK company. They've now long gone now, and they used to make really cool um, diecast figures and diecast ships. And they used to do aliens, they used to do um, predators, and they've done quite a few different lines. But today we're looking at this one. Much awesome detailness and dust. The only thing I think is missing from this personally was what the Halicom Slacker had. That was a mini dropship. USS Slacko, the troop transport Slacko, was in service in the United States Colonial Marine Corps when it carried 2nd Battalion Bravo Team and Ellen Ripley into the orbit of LV-426 to investigate loss of contact with a colony there. Eagle Moss Hero Collection. And the bottom. And the other side. Which is the same. And the top, or it could be the bottom, depending which way you look at it. And the back. The Alien and Predator figurine collection. Eagle Moss Limited. <laughs> Tell you what, there is no point in reading that because they are now long gone. They've been bought out by another company. So, yeah, but they had the 20th Century Fox Film Corporation obviously licensed to make this. Much not English. Sulaco, barcode. Look out for new figurines coming soon. Aliensclection.heroclector.com. Now, they also did the dropship and the APC, but in my personal opinion, they were both awful. They actually did like the little figures as well, but in die cast again, I, I just didn't like it. To get this one actually, it was out of stock forever. I actually had it on like a back order, but finally it came back in stock. And I got it for 50% off, which was 59.99, so that would have been £30. So let's have a ganders. Right. Alien Predator figurine collection. Aliens vs. Sulaco. Hmm. Right. The USS Sulaco is a Constago class troop transport ship almost 4,000 metres long. In service with the United States Colonial Marine Corps, the ship carries a 2nd Battalion Bravo team to the orbit of LV-426 so they can take a dropship to the surface and investigate loss of contact with the colony there. Ellen Ripley, one of the few people to ever visit the planetoid before, joins them as a special supervisor. Non-English. Non-English. Aliens. Aliens. This time it's war. Released in 1986, Ripley returns to LB-426 to investigate the loss of contact with a new colony. Accompanied by a team of marines, this time, will it be enough? And non-English versions. And uh, basically other figures you can get, but yeah, I personally didn't like them. I thought they were awful. That's why I never bothered to get any more. This is the only Eagle Moss thing that I ever actually purchased. And details that are no longer relevant. Right. USS Slaco Certificate of Authenticity. Yes, there you go. That's what number this one is. He was the authenticator and the seal of quality. And a cool card. Right, let's have a look at the figure itself. It's a nice bit of polystyrene. We pop that out. And this is what we get. Right. Out comes the stand, which has never actually been used. So let's open this up. And it doesn't want to let us go. So, USS Sir TM 2018 Fox. Oh, right, yeah, almost didn't see that. That's the actual stand there. Let's see which way this goes in. Yep. Uh, oh, what I do like about this is the weightiness. So, uh, yeah, let's have this as a, if we can, a nice little background. There we go. Right, so obviously the Alien 3 side. Detail is... 
absolutely amazing. It's really heavy, really heavy. I mean, it's really cool. And the top down view. And now we do the alien side. That is absolutely cool. And the back and the bottom. As you can see, it kind of a looks like a machine gun. Hmm. I've always wondered, but I can't imagine these if they're twistable. <laughs> no, they are solid. They is going to break. Look. Looks like parts from the Death Star Trench. Still very cool. Very, very cool. Stunning, stunning detail. Should we see if this one moves? No, it doesn't. And head on. And I have zero idea what these go for these days. I mean, I imagine eBay is your place to buy. Hmm. Like that? No. Oh, I see. It's actually showing us on the box. There we go. Alright, so let's get down and have a closer look. There we are. I mean, it's definitely pointing up to the skies, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, I loved this as soon as I saw it. I had to pre order it. And um, yeah, as I said, I didn't manage to get it in the first lot, but I managed to get it in the second lot. And yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with this. So there we go, guys. That is the die cast from uh, the Alien and Predator Hero Collection from the now defunct Eagle Moss USS Sulaco.